I'm gonna start with the bodice sloper. We are gonna be using the slash method. There's no real way to do this pivot method until you've known what you've done a few times. And even then mathematically, pivot method works out a bit sketchy. So I do need the dart. I need to know where the dart is. I don't necessarily have to use the sloper with the bust dart. In fact, it might be easier if we don't. So let's just make a change. Just because we're not going to have darts, we're moving everything. So we might as well use the one that has the darts combined already. So I'm just going to trace the whole sloper. I'm going to mark my bust line. That's important. And my dart is going to become a non-existent thing but I just need to know where it is. Does that make sense? Now, this is one of the few that you're not gonna be able to seam allowance it after because this pattern is not going to be complete on its own anyway. So go ahead and cut it out and cut it just right on the lines. The whole thing. The whole thing. I'm not worried about the dark. I'm just going to make sure my bust line is on there. My bust point is on there. My notch is on there, just so I know where those things go. But I'm not going to worry about the circle. I'm not going to worry about labeling anything else at this point. The next thing we need to do is we need to determine how deep we're going to have this cowl be. When it's draped, how far is it going to sit? So the book is suggesting a four inch lowered neckline. So if we do that half scale, what does that mean we're gonna do? Yep, we're gonna do two inches down the neckline. And then because we want it to be proportionate, we're probably gonna take half that distance and take it out of the shoulder. Nah, not a half a quarter of that distance. Take it out of the shoulder. So then we just connect those lines. And this becomes a non-usable piece. Okay, so whack it off. Now, how come I didn't have I don't have to do any adjustments to the arm's eye because we dropped the neckline more than two inches? Remember how we talked about that last time? How come I'm not having to adjust for that? Okay, number one, because we're not done with this piece. It's not finished. And number two, because we just V-necked it, we didn't round it. Okay. So currently, this is a V-neck piece. We'll come to a sharp point. On the shoulder, what shoulder you have left, break that into three equal pieces. And this is going to be point A. This is going to be point B. And you only have two points, but you have three chunks. Okay. 
Down here at the neck in full scale, you would come another inch down, right down the front. So I'm gonna come half an inch down because I'm working in half scale. This is going to become D. And this right here where our neckline, where our C, where our V cut sits is C. So we have A and B and C and D. I think I'm gonna have to use pink paper next time. This white paper is hard to see. Let's see if we can adjust that. That doesn't help. Does it help? A little. Okay, we are gonna draw a slightly curved line from A to C and from B to D. It's not a straight line with a ruler. It needs to have just a tiny bit of curve to it, but not a lot. Next thing you need are your scissors, A, B, and your bust point become pivots. You're gonna cut from C up to but not through A, from D up to but not through B, your bust line straight to your bust point and up your fold line straight to your bust point. Okay, so you can see there's all sorts of crazy business happening there. tissue paper I'm gonna have you make a couple of folds and number one I want you to fold it and I need it to be wide enough that you can fit the slope around there really easily with some good clearance on either side and it needs to be much longer than your sloper right The top of this, we're gonna fold down so that we have a four quadrant point, but it's not a symmetrical. Does that make sense? So if I were to open it back up, I'd have four points, but I don't want it open right now. Wait, it's gotta be this way. Just kidding. Mine has to be folded backwards in order for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so on the front, you should have two layers of tissue paper at the bottom with a sharp crease up the side 
Then towards the top, you should have a return of tissue paper that's also doubled and folded. So up here at the top, you'll have four layers. Down here, you'll have two layers. Can you see that? We're gonna take this pattern piece and we're gonna lay it right on the edge of the fold. <clears throat> this fold up here. So it's folded here, it's folded here. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna take the A to C line and we're gonna lay it right here on this point. So that the point of your sloper comes right out to the fold and your V neck lays right along this fold. Does that make sense? So if my sloper was all back together, this is my shoulder, this is my V neck. I'm taking my V neck cut and I'm shifting it so it's along the top edge of this fold. And the tip right here needs to be at the tip right here at this corner. And that V neck needs to just ride right along this fold. There's also a long fold here. Just go ahead and tape that down. Just that one piece. Now your second piece, you're just gonna kind of maneuver. I've done this enough and my pivots are small enough that you can see that this piece just laid itself down nice and flat and the tip of D is right on the edge of the fold, right here. It's not out like this, it's not protruding past, it's not at an angle down like this, so it's stopping short. The tip of it needs to be right there on that fold. Then tape that one in place. Now you're gonna shift the main portion of the bodice until the edge of your bust line, this corner of the center front and bust line until it hits the corner. Making sure that you're not letting this bubble and pucker. Tape that piece down. Then this piece, which is your center front that you cut free from your dart, you're just gonna lay it right along the fold and have it lay flat and parallel to the fold. It's gonna close your dart quite a bit. I'm gonna do a little Emerald Lagasse magic. And bam! Does that make sense? Oh, except for I didn't fold it on the fold. There we go. Okay, is that easier to see? <clears throat> I made a much deeper cut. This is like a below bust line V-neck. That's why I'm, this piece is longer. It's much longer than the two inches. So it shifts my whole piece back away from this front or scent line. And so there's no way this would touch. So I just continued if my ruler, if that was continuing out, it would touch right here. And then I detach this piece and set it right here. So it's the same way we're going in what we're doing now. Just this is a more extreme dip in the front. Yes. How about we show it not upside down? It's so hard to see white on white, I'm sorry. Okay, 